All right, now we're going to go on to antiarrhythmic medications. <clears throat> antiarrhythmic medications correct disorders of the heart rate and rhythm. They work to either bring the rate to within the normal limit um, or change the origin of the heartbeat to the sinus node, which is, of course, the normal pacemaker. Um, the first drug in this category is um, uh, quinidine. Um, Cardioquin is another name as well as uh, a couple others. Um, this drug decreases the excitability of the heart and is used for AFib and uh, ventricular dysrhythmias. It, is, it also has an anticholinergic effect. Um, anticholinergic it means the blocking of the effect of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Sorry. Um, since acetylcholine is involved with the learning and memory, um, glands and involuntary muscles, um, and an um, anticholinergic drug can cause dry mouth, decrease in perspiration, increased heart rate, constipation, increase in blood pressure, and blurred vision. Um, adverse effects for quinidine include hearing loss and tinnitus, which is the ringing of the ears. It can also lead to uh, blood discrasis, which is a uh, disease of the blood-forming organs, such as the bone marrow, spleen, and liver, which leads to disorders of the cellular elements of the blood, so platelets, red blood cells, and all things that can happen within those. Um, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting um, are also uh, common adverse effects. You're going to want to monitor serum um, drug levels and blood count when on this drug. The next drug is uh, Norpace. This drug decreases the excitability of the heart. Adverse effects include um, it can aggravate congestive heart failure. It can lead to heart block. So you're going to want to monitor pulse rate before giving the drug and do not give the pulse below 60 or above 120. Um, it can also lead to orthostatic hypotension. You're going to want to teach to change positions slowly and to monitor blood pressure with the patient. Lidocaine is another drug. Um, it is used to treat acute ventricular dysrhythmias. Um, lidocaine is usually the drug of choice to prevent uh, V-fib when a client develops a, a, a PVC. It is not effective for atrial dysrhythmias, and it does not affect blood pressure, cardiac output, or myocardial contractility. It is usually given IV bolus followed by IV drip for cardiovascular patients. Um, in addition to side effects of antiarrhythmics um, discussed earlier with the other two drugs uh, I just went over, uh, lidocaine uh, can lead to CNS um, effects such as dizziness or stupor and can also cause respiratory depression. And then there's um, Prenestel. Um, this is, drug is used to treat PVCs, ventricular tachycardia, and some atrial dysrhythmias. Side effects include si severe hypotension, bradycardia, nausea, vomiting, anorexia, diarrhea, bitter taste. Um, you're going to want to keep patients supine during IV administration to decrease the hypotension that may occur with this drug. And continuing with the antiarrhythmic drugs, we have Bertilinum. Sorry for pronouncing that weird, it's one of those weird ones. Um, this one is used to treat uh, V-fib. Um, it is not to be used for atrial dysrhythmias or uh, digitalis-induced dysrhythmias. Adverse effects include severe osteostatic hypotension. Um, so you're going to keep patients supine until tolerance to hypotension develops and monitor blood pressure and pulse. Next is adenosine, which is used in treatment of supraventricular tachycardia. It slows the impulse formation of the AV node and slows the conduction time. Adverse effects, in, um, you're going to want to uh, monitor heart rate and rhythm for dysrhythmias, monitor BP, and uh, facial flushing and headache are also possible. Um, Amarodarone is next. This one is used in the treatment of life-threatening recurrent ventricular fibrillation and unstable ventricular tachycardia. This decreases the AV conduction. Do not give this medication if the pulse is less than 60 beats per minute or the systolic blood pressure is less than 90. Um, you're going to also want to uh, monitor liver function tests. And 
and finally we have uh, Dilantin, a common drug, I'm sure you know the name by heart, um, used to treat ventricular and supraventricular dysrhythmias unresponsive to lidocaine or uh, pro, um, procanamide. Um, so yeah, when those two drugs don't work, that's when Dilantin is pulled out. Uh, adverse effects include ataxia, lethargy, um, and the stigma, which is uh, the unintentional jittery movement of the eye, um, can also happen. Uh, you also can see double vision and um, gingival, gingival uh, hypoplasia, which is the overgrowth of gum tissue, and rash may also occur. Um, you're going to want to give this drug uh, via IV push to prevent a uh, vascular collapse. A collapse. You're going to do it slowly, like any push, but this one you have to really be sure that you do it slowly. And do not mix this drug with dextrose 5% IV fluid because crystallization will occur um, in the flush IV line. With um, you're going to want to flush the IV line with saline before and after administration of the Dilantin, just to make sure this doesn't happen. Um, with all these medications. Um, all the medications except the uh, uh, the uh, Bredelin, um, they're all well absorbed from the GI tract and can be given PO. Uh, most can also be given IM or IV, um, since they are designed to treat uh, VTAC and VFib. Um, the nurse should watch for bradycardia as a side effect. Other dysrhythmias may occur. Um, for um, I'll be going over other medications that speed up the heart, um, but you're going to want uh, the those um, that I'll cover later available in, in in the case that you have too slow of a heart rate. And uh, give medications at equal intervals. Monitor vital signs and EKG for dysrhythmias. And uh, side effects include postural hypotension for most of the antirhythmic. Next drug category I'm going to cover is beta blockers. Beta blockers reduce cardiac oxygen and demands by blocking cato catecholamine and increase um, increases the heart rate, blood pressure, and force of myocardial contraction. Uh, these drugs are used to treat angina, hypertension, and uh, ventricular and supra supraventricular dysrhythmias. Um, two of the drugs are uh, can be given only by mouth, and that is. Um, Natalol and acetabutyltol. Um, the other drugs I have listed here, um, low pressor, um, normadine, you know, you can see they can be given IV or PO. Um, note that uh, O L O L or A L O L um, ends all of the generic names in, in, of beta blockers. It's a good way to remember. Um, adverse effects for beta blockers include severe bradycardia hypoglycemia, heart block, severe hypotension, and increased airway resistance. You're going to want to monitor BP and do not stop medication suddenly and do not give um, these to asthmatics unless um, said to do so by the doctor. You want to basically question um, carefully if the doctor prescribes this to an asthmatic. Next are the cardiac stimulants. Um, these I told you you're going to want to have on hand for those um, drugs that slow cardiac heart rate. Um, cardiac stimulants are autonomic nervous system medications. They act to increase the heart rate either by enhancing cardiac conduction, um, which is the isoproteneryl drugs, or by blocking vagal stimulation, which is the atropine. Isoproteneryl, um, also known as isoprel, um, enhances uh, con uh, cardiac conduction increase in the heart rate. It is also a, a burrito Bronchodilator, um, in contrast to the hypertensive action of most adrenic, um, adrenic <laughs> I can't say this word, sorry, adrenergic medications, um, isoprel may cause a drop in di diastolic blood pressure, and the systolic pressure may rise slightly. Um, adverse reactions include headache, palpitations, dry mouth, flushing, sweating, and bronchial edema. Atropine is the other cardiac stimulant. Um, it is an anticholinergic drug. Um, refer back to the beginning of this uh, slide. Show about what anticholinergic drugs are. Um, it blocks vagal stimulation. And vagus the vagus nerve acts on the SA node to slow the heart rate. By blocking this signal, the heart rate is increased 
atropine acts through the body to block cholinergic activity, causing side effects of dry mouth, dilated pupils, and blurred vision.